This is from the homie. 360, 360, 360, Jesus. <laughs> this is for the homie 360, Jesus, man. I f with 360, Jesus, man. If y'all probably know who he is, but if you don't, go check him out, man. He does dope. Man, 360 Jeezy. I don't know why you don't do like, 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 like sports, like professional sports and like celebrity haircuts. Cause, bro, your haircuts be like on point. So I don't know why you don't be like having like A list. Celebrities like on your clientele because brother, your haircuts like bro. Check out 360 Jeezy man. Um, his though he be he can do black hair, he can do white hair, he can do Mexican hair, he can do all type of bro. Check him out man. So I hit him up because I wanted him to um to adjust some clippers because of. The uh, clippers that I have, it's not really sharp. You know what I'm saying? Like, it really don't be hitting like how I want my clippers to be hitting. And in his videos, like, he should be sharp, like razor sharp. So I hit him up and say, hey man, can you, you know, do whatever you do to clippers to make mine um, just as sharp? So shout out to the homie. 360, 360. <laughs> Bruh, that intro oh, is classic, man. bro. <laughs> Who the hell is singing that? Is that you singing? Three? <laughs> That's one hell of an intro, bro. You? Two, what's up, man? That's my boy, Dam D.I. He's one of the guys I follow when it comes to sneakers. As you all may know, I am a sneaker head. So if you guys would do me a big favor and go over to Dam D's page and hit that subscribe button. Give him a couple of likes on some videos, man. Support what he's doing. I support him. He makes great content for shoe, sneakers, clothes, fashion, just all that, man. He's, he's just a dope person. He gives his honest opinion about the sneakers that come out. I'm big into fashion, I like shoes, I'm a big shoe head, so if you guys would, please support my man Damn D, link will be in the description. But in this video, like he said, I do all type of textures, all right? And this is just another straight hair client, another comb over. It's your boy 360 GZ. stay tuned. next tool that I'm using is my wall magic clips. These are customized to be balding clippers and right now I'm just going to take off the rest of the bolt. Bottom a little bit more. This makes it razor ball. So 
This adds another transition, so you don't want to go all the way to the line. You just want to go, you know, an inch below the line. That way it creates another transition. Up 
came down to the one guard open, I'm just gonna, in a flick out motion, clean up that section where I set the one and the two. So in between those two, I'm just gonna, you know, flick out and clean up that area. Closing the lever on the one guard, I'm just going to flick out and uh, try my best to take out that middle line. Now, I, I, I have in mind that this is not going to take out the line. It's just going to soften things up a bit, kind of take it out to where, you know, it's lighter. But it's not going to erase the line completely. That, that'll happen when you uh, use your next step that I'm going to tell you guys. Now with the zero guard closed in a flick out motion, you're able to flick out that middle line in which you softened it up using the one guard close. Final step is the lever closed and in a flick out motion, flick out the bottom line. Keep in mind as you go up, you're gonna have to open the lever a little bit, you know. As you're going into that lever open, you know, you don't wanna stay at a, a lever close. You wanna adjust your lever as you go uh, up into that lever open. take off too much. Right now, I'm saturating my client's hair with water uh, to go in to do some shear work. Um, now, I want to explain to you guys cutting wet hair versus cutting dry hair. Um, it's simple, when, when, you, when the hair is wet, able to stretch out to its maximum potential and when the hair is dry it's you know it's, it's, you can only stretch it so much so make sure you cut your your straight hair clients you know wet because it's a difference when you're cutting off tension so as you guys can see right now I'm gonna section off the, the bangs the bangs in the front I want to keep longer than the hair in the back so right now I'm just gonna section off and uh, you know clip off an inch and uh, work my way from the front to the back. I like 
to do the bangs last because I like to leave the bangs a little bit longer than everything else. So right now I'm cutting off uh, not necessarily a full inch, but I'm working from, from left, from my left to the right. Using my styling comb and my blow dryer, I'm going to blow dry and style in the direction of a comb over. Putting in my clips just to pin the hair back so I could take some bulk from the front line. So you guys might not be able to see it, but there's hair sticking out, which I'm just gonna clip her over comb and knock down the hairs in the front. It's all about, you know, details and you know being real, you know, intricate about how you cut hair. It's the small things that count. Uh, your, your clients will definitely love the little things that you do. And it just makes your hair cut that much more you know, clean. I just wouldn't use it. I might use it on somebody if they ask me or if they're receding and they ask me. But but at this point, I feel like taking things to the next level isn't necessarily a bad thing. Especially as an artist, you feel like you know you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. You're improving, but it's so much. It's only so much that you can improve on a daily, you know, without using enhancements. Now, do I charge people for enhancements? No, can I? Can you? Yes. But, you know, for me, I'm not going to charge you for something that's going to wash off in a day or so. You know what I mean? This is all fun for me and, and, and just taking things to the next level. It's just, you know, a satisfactory thing for your barber, you knowing that you're coming, you're coming out crispy. Now, I don't use it on everybody. I'm just showing you guys 
what enhancements can do to your line to take things to the next level. Because I don't normally, you know, use enhancements on my, you know, tutorials. So I just want to bring new content to you guys to show you you can take things to the next level. putting some gel in my client's hair. Um, the gel that I'm using is called Red One. It smells great. Um, it actually smells like some fruit punch. You know what I mean? It's a good smell. All my clients love it. You know, even I love it. Using it, smelling it, you know. Uh, it just washes off your hands nice and easy. Uh, great product. Um, yeah. YouTube, this is the side by side before and after view of the cut. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is GZ360 and my Instagram is 360GZ. But it's your boy 360GZ and I'm out of here.